Hello, and welcome back to Smart Space Information Technology Blog. And in today's tutorial, we're going to cover how you can hide or remove registered or lost your password links from your WordPress login page. Uh, I just want to give you some heads up first so that you understand what is going to be happen afterwards. So, um, this option works just only for those ones who are not allowed to anyone register on their website. If you have a members or user that is registered, commonly registered on your WordPress platform, that is, so this is not an option for you guys. If you are not allowed to anyone register or to be a member of your WordPress website, then you can easily protect your website more uh, from the spammers or anyone uh, from registering randomly on your WordPress web page and using as it for spamming your platform. So if you're interested, I'm going to show you how. Uh, there's two options how we can perform this uh, hiding or removing of these links. The first option that you can do from the uh, your uh, database where is your website stored. Uh, in my case it's a local website so I can access my website through the, my directory uh, which is uh, which is in my local computer. In your case it could be web hosted and you can go to your file manager and in your file manager you can access your function.php file so you first of all make sure that you select the right zip that you're working on uh, so I'm going to go to my current zip and find that find my uh, 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 go pro right? that's the one I'm using now I need to find my function.php file and I'm going to open up my function.php file on my notepad plus plus editor where I'm going to make these changes. So you have to <coughs> two options like I said from the database on your web hosting provider or to the WordPress website. To the WordPress website you can go to your WordPress platform, go to your uh, appearance editor option, click on the editor option then you're going to be show um, the right panel list from the right side and you should find your function.php file but remember that to make changes on your work class platform you have to make changes on your child zip and before you do any changes do a backup first don't try experiment because if you don't have any relevant backup then you're gonna be a problem. So that's your option or for through the web WordPress. You have to if you through the if you if you planning to do this through the, your WordPress, then you have to find a function that each file and I'll scroll down all the way bottom, to the bottom. And here you are going to type your um, uh, code that is going to that is going to allow you to hide this register and lost your password. I'm going to do this through the my uh, notepad plus pass. If you're ready to do some changes, just follow my steps and like I said, if you did a backup, you're good to go. So first of all we need to type uh, create a function that is going to allow us to hide this links. So First of all, we're creating the function, uh, and after that, we're going to name it hide uh, login, uh, say links. So we call this function hide login links, right? And after that, just follow my steps, and you should be fine.
make sure that it type everything correct. Function with a function a high log and links the ID. That is going to be the same. If you're not sure, just copy and paste this and insert to in your action so that you don't make any mistake. So whenever you finish, just click save. Save it. And, but if you work from the WordPress to the WordPress uh, platform inside on the WordPress, then you have to uh, scroll all the way to the bottom and save it. After that, your page should be reloaded. If it's reloaded and you going if if it's if you did everything right, it should be reloaded and show you the same setting as it used to do. If it's anything wrong, then it's going to show you that 404 page is not accessible or not found. Then it means that you made some mistake during during your uh, typing of code, which means that it's make uh, damage your WordPress website. In that case, you have to roll back to your backup function, the PHP file, and everything is going to work as a normal. So, now we need to test it out and see how it goes. So let's go to our WordPress website. For now, we still see the register and lost your password link. But we need to just click, uh, hit F5 on your keyboard or just, or just click reload and all your links should be disappeared. So as you can see that I don't see any more any links on my WordPress login page, which is more looks uh, professional and uh, not allowed to anyone from the permanent user or administrator to log into my WordPress, which is more, which is make my WordPress website more secure and reliable than it used to be before. Pretty much it guys i hope you like this video and hope you don't make any damage to your wordpress website and you successfully remove your links from the login page don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial bye